Hello, I'm Brian Knowlton back with another super cool slide reel tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn what a volt amp is and how to calculate the amount of volt amps a transformer is capable of delivering. In this example, we will be examining a 24 volt transformer that has a VA rating of 40. A VA rating of 40 is converted to amps by dividing the VA rating by the voltage output as seen here. In this example, we will divide 40 by 24. This gives us 1.66 amps. So this transformer will deliver a maximum of 1.66 amps at the rated output of 24 volts. This is important because if you exceed 1.66 amps, several things can happen. The first is the voltage output will fall, possibly low enough to burn up the device you are supplying. The second problem that can occur is the transformer windings will burn up. If you are experiencing transformer problems, first install an inline fuse to protect the transformer. Next, you can use an amp clamp to measure the amps output of the transformer to ensure that it is not being overworked. And the third thing you can do is, is monitor the voltage output. Normally a 24 volt transformer actually puts out about 26 volts. If you measure this, once a load is added, and you notice it fall below about 22 volts, you probably have too small of a VA transformer. Uh, in this instance, you would replace the 40 with either a 50 or a 75 VA transformer. This concludes our tutorial, but please stay tuned and let me introduce you to the super cool slide rule. It is the most useful tool in the HVAC industry, guaranteed to save you countless hours and give you rapid access to all the HVAC data you need. Thanks for watching. Hello, I'd like to take a minute to introduce you to the coolest tool in the HVAC industry. Historically, technicians have carried four or five different slide rules. You have one for R22, one for R410A, one for metal duct sizing, one for flexible duct sizing, and yet others for diagnostics or troubleshooting. Thankfully, those days are gone. This one tool will allow you to charge a system with R22 or R410A, and either the superheat or subcooling method. The back cover contains required formulas, it has capacitors, rules, and practices, a wet bulb conversion chart, how to perform computations on series or parallel circuits, an electric heat strip guide, a complete system troubleshooting diagnostic chart, and how to troubleshoot compressors in TXV. Inside is packed with even more information. It performs sizing of both metal and flexible duct. It has the only direct reading conversion from smooth metal to insulation line metal we've ever seen. The majority of technicians have never been taught that if the insulation is on the inside of the ductwork, you cannot size it with a regular duct calculator. It has step-by-step -step directions for determining airflow through a gas furnace, electric furnace, or an air conditioning unit. It has pressure drop multipliers for ductwork as well as recommended velocities. And finally, the scanning of this QR code gives instant access to over 100 tutorials to assist the technician with every test and repair imaginable. You owe it to yourself, as well as your customers, to own this tool. It's less than $20, including shipping. The SuperCool will save you countless hours of frustration when troubleshooting units. Log on to our website and get one today, and I promise you will be a better technician tomorrow. And remember, Every technician is only as good as their tools. Thanks for watching.